So today our focus is going to be on discussing healing trauma related to your relationships. Uh, Chanel is going to tell us her philosophy on healing um, our inner self so we can have better relationships, how to identify our relationship wounds, how to manifest the partner you desire, and mindset shifts and tools, and also the, just the foundation of a healthy relationship. So we're going to get we're going to get into it. So Chanel, we already went through a little bit about your practice and about you, but what inspired you to begin this work specifically around relationships? Well, I can always, I, I say to myself, like, it was my own journey. It was my own journey healing my own relationship issues um, that really led me here and gave me the tools to kind of say, hey, I'm ready to you know, help other women to do the same. So if I could share a little bit about my journey, um, it was quite a journey. <laughs> um, so I was like in a relationship since I was 16, like some 16 to 23. And it was a relationship that was, I wouldn't call it toxic, but it was very like up and down. And I found myself feeling really not fulfilled in that relationship. And, you know, that person had really great qualities. I even got my dream of being engaged, but there was just something like pulling me like uh, something doesn't feel right. And speaking to other family members and friends, it was like, well, he's a good guy. The grass is not other, not always greener on the other side. And it was like, kind of like, oh, am I supposed to settle in this? Right. And again, I was feeling insecure, um, insecure. And I'm just like, I don't know about this. And I had to follow my gut. And, you know, we broke up. He wasn't someone that liked to travel. He was a real homebody. It was just not exciting or uplifting. And I felt just he wasn't giving me what I needed. But that story, my mom, she was a single parent. She always had really toxic relationships, you know, um, most of my growing up. And my father wasn't there. So my frame of reference was like, well, he's not, he's not abusive. He's, you know, a good man. He stays home. But it was just a pull. So I broke up, experienced extreme guilt. People were like, why did you do that? But I, I knew, like, knowing myself, I was like, this is not working. Um, so I took three years off. And um, I found myself dating the same type of person, like, even just dating, having fun, or trying to get back in a relationship. I found myself dating, like, these emotionally unavailable men. And I'm like, this is exactly what I left, right? So it was like, what? I dated maybe like four or five guys in that time and I was frustrated. I felt like I couldn't trust them. Um, there was just so many different things and it was like a pattern of stuff. So I'm like, hold on, what's going on? But I would blame them. I'd be like, oh, it's their fault. Then I met my twin flame. It was like my last relationship before my husband. And what they say about your soulmate or your twin flame, there it's like fire. It's like it's good. You got, got that chemistry, but there's a lot of like fire. And it was again, an emotional roller coaster up and down. And I used to be like, you know, I'm done with you. quit it. I'm done. So one day he got fed up and he was like, look, you always trying to leave. You still keep comparing me to your ex of like, you know, my seven year relationship and I'm tired of this. And so it was like, Ooh, you just put the mirror back on me. Oh, <laughs> that, ooh, I like being right. <laughs> Did that. And that really did open me up to kind of really put the mirror back on myself. And I realized that, again, the patterns of the people I was dating, how I was feeling, no matter who it was, I didn't feel worthy in a relationship. I didn't trust. I felt frustrated. And I said, you know what? If I want a healthy relationship, I got to do this work. So, you know, I went to counseling. Um, I say that's the time that I went through this, like, spiritual awakening of really being able to look at the layers, look at my childhood, you know, stuff that I went through, not having a father, looking at, you know, seeing my mom go through her stuff with relationships and really just working on my self-esteem and confidence. And I went to counseling and I started to also read it about the law of attraction, about like how to manifest things, whether it was work or your relationships. And it really helped to really transform myself. And it took about a year. And one day I just said to God, God, I was like, I am ready. I am ready for love. I'm ready. I'm not afraid anymore. I, I deserve love. And that took a lot, you know, um, and then I met my husband. 
And he was who God intended me to be. But with trauma, it's like a wound. Like, again, you're walking around with the wound. You finally see it. So you're like, oh, shoot, I got to, like, clean that up. I got to, like, patch that up, right? So I patched it up. But I nicked it a couple times in that relationship because these triggers came up from my old relationships. Trust. When is the shoe going to drop? You know, all that stuff. So even though I was through my healing journey, it was still a healing journey. And it took the right partner to provide me that consistency and security, um, you know, to be able to continue the work. And we've been together for nine years. And it's been an amazing journey. I feel like I am in a wonderful, you know, relationship. And I'm just excited. And so the techniques that I learned along my journey is what, you know, forced me or helped me to want to help other women. So I started out doing relationship coaching and it was all about manifesting and attracting and helping women to kind of attract because they were ready to date. But then I found that there were some women that it was like really scary to date and they had some trauma. And so I started to look at their patterns and using my clinical experience, being able to do that, the work based on trauma and the childhood wounds, you know, so that kind of led me to saying, all right, I'm going to do the relationship wounds. Like I'll do coaching for the people that are ready to date and they've done the work, but the people that are scared of committing and they just have a lot of issues related to the toxicity and trauma of relationships, you know, that's why I decided to do that, you know, on a clinical lens. And it's real, been really helpful for a lot of women. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. You know, I think what's interesting is is that you called it a journey and what inspired you on your journey. And in the same way on mine, I talk a lot about what inspired me to begin healing. Um, we're, you know, your girl's still working on some things when it comes to relationships, but you know, that's why we have this conversation. <laughs> uh, you know, because like you said, it is something all the time, over time, as things continue to come up for us, then we need to be able to acknowledge and to address and to feel, you know, okay with being human as far as our reactions to things but to have that support either through counseling or therapy to learn some tools to actually recognize that hey this is not you know a fault of mine i don't need to carry shame because i'm i'm you know i have this wound what i can do is begin to develop some some systems and some tools for myself to become aware of them acknowledge them and then you know continue on continue on the journey so um I appreciate you you sharing that because this was not this was a, a period of time. This was not overnight. Mm -mm. And it's still it is still a work in progress because once you get in a relationship, it's like how do you maintain that relationship? And what frame of references are you using for that relationship? Is it like the old stuff, like you know, that may not be what works for you? Like, you know, so you have to continue to evolve and transform in your relationship, right? So there's different stages, you know? So it's, you're constantly growing and evolving, you know, and things are gonna come up and it's how do you pivot and what tools do you use when you go through those challenges?